Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to enter the BIOS or UEFI on Windows 11. Now, quite a few people on our Discord server ask this question all the time, so I wanted to make a nice, clean, and easy video to show you three ways on how to get into the BIOS if you need to make changes to the BIOS, whether it would be uh, changing the boot order or whether you want to overclock or whether you want to do something else in the BIOS even like updating your BIOS. So let's take a look at ways of how we can get into the BIOS. So first off, we're at the desktop here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in here system information. The first thing you wanna do is to make sure that your system is UEFI. If we look here, we can see our system says BIOS mode UEFI, and that's because we're running a pretty new computer with Windows 11 with supported hardware and you can see we've got UEFI there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to get into the BIOS by using this method. Because we have UEFI enabled here, we can literally go to the start button and go to settings. Inside settings here, we want to go down to where it says recovery on the system section. So if you're on here, what you want to do is make sure you're selecting system and then go to recovery. From here, we'll be able to select the advanced startup. What this is going to do is restart our computer, and then when we restart it, it's going to allow us to select our UEFI and uh, it boot to that UEFI uh, BIOS. So let's go ahead and restart now. The PC will restart, and you should see a little splash screen here with the key that you can push to enter the BIOS, but I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. But you can see here, we are now restarting. You can also hold the left shift key down and restart your PC and it will take you to this screen here where it says choose an option. We wanna to go to where it says troubleshoot and then advanced options. On the right hand side here, we should see UEFI firmware settings and it will say, do you want to restart and go into that. Once you restart, you will be taken straight into your BIOS or UEFI here. We can see we have now access to this and we can do whatever we want to do in our BIOS here. Now the next method is to boot to your BIOS via the command prompt here. So let me go ahead and show you this. So we're going to go to the search box and type CMD and we're going to open up the command prompt. It doesn't need to be opened as administrator so we can just open it just like this and there we go. We need to type in here shutdown and then space forward slash R then space forward slash O, then space forward slash F, then space forward slash T, and then space zero zero. So they are zeros and not O's at the end. Once we've done that, we can push enter and this will shut down the PC and it will take us back to that choose an option. And I'll show you here. So let's restart our system. Let's take a bit of time. So let it do its thing here. So we should see, please wait. We've got a few little updates here to go in. So I'm just going to let those go. And then we should see that splash screen again coming up here. There we go. And now it's going to say, please wait. And it will give us that choose option. It's going to take us straight in here. And again, you can use uh, the hold the left shift key down to bring you to this location. So now we've here, we need to go to troubleshoot again, then advanced options. And the, there is that UEFI firmware settings and now we can restart our system and it will take us straight into our BIOS. So there are two ways of getting into your BIOS. They're pretty easy to use these methods and they're pretty foolproof. A lot of people start tapping on keys and that's when they find it difficult to get in the BIOS and that's the method I'm going to show you next. So to get into your BIOS there is a designated key that you can keep tapping on during the reboot process and it will take you straight into your BIOS. And let me show you uh, all about that. Here on the screen, you can see that splash screen. It's saying push the DEL key, the delete key, and you keep tapping it. But yours might be a different key that you need to tap on. And you can see there's other keys there like press F11 to run the boot menu. And we've got control plus F5 to uh, access the BIOS flash feature. Now, here is the keys that you can push for different laptops and desktops, whether you've got an Asus motherboard, MSI, Gigabyte, ASRock, and so on. You would use these keys to get into your BIOS. So let's go and restart the system, and I'm gonna tap on the delete key or DEL key, and this will take us 
straight into our BIOS. We'll see the splash screen here, keep tapping it, and in the BIOS we go. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. Now that method has become a little bit harder because of the PCs are booting up a lot more faster now, and sometimes it's hard to catch it. So that's basically how you can boot to your BIOS or UEFI, and it's very simple and easy to do. So my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. We've got some new people that have joined, so I really do appreciate it. Special shout out to Geo Sam, who's joined my third tier, and also Welsh Tony One. I really do appreciate that third tier support. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.